here. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Larlo Video. If you're new here, I'm Lauren and I am absolutely obsessed with The Simpsons. Today's video is gonna be a doozy because I am gonna be unboxing and trying out all of the stuff that I got from the Makeup Revolution and The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror collaboration. Over the past few years, I've seen so many makeup brands coming out with collaborations with all of these pop culture references that are supposed to invoke nostalgia. We've seen makeup collaborations with Friends, Lisa Frank, Sailor Moon, and Disney. Oh, so much Disney. Stop! Stop! He's already dead! I was able to resist all of those until this one came along. I personally have been collecting anything related to The Simpsons because it is such a sentimental show for me. I think that it's inspired a lot of who I am and it's also the way I was introduced into horror. I love horror and I think that this was the inciting incident. I mean, this, this show and Treehouse of Horror episodes is what makes me love horror. And I'm not joking, I have collected a lot of Simpsons stuff. Oh, and I can't forget, I actually have them permanently tattooed on my body. This is definitely going to be a chunky video, so settle in, grab a snack, a drink, and uh, let's go over this <laughs> very long free promotion for Makeup Revolution. Oh, gotta make sure I don't dox myself. I am a huge dummy. This package could have been brought to me much sooner had I actually put my correct zip code down. I have been a nervous anxious sweaty meatball ever since I ordered this and found out that it was misshipped because I put in the wrong zip code. Every moment I live is agony. I'm very ready to open this and dig in so let's open it up. I was not expecting this bag to be so big. I thought it was gonna be like uh, the size of a half of a sub from Subway. It has the Simpsons logo on one side, and then on the opposite side, we have the logo of Treehouse of Horror, and then it has the entire Simpsons family on their couch as skeletons, which was a couch gag that they did in one of the openings. It's a really nice, soft texture, and it seems to be pretty spacious. This, I did realize, was an exclusive to Makeup Revolution's website. It wasn't on Ulta's website. And this is the eyeshadow palette called the Raven Bart. And it's a nice, like, little mini shadow palette. This was one of my favorite episodes of Treehouse of Horror because you hear James Earl Jones narrating the Raven, and oh, it's just so beautiful. Next up, I actually forgot that I had gotten this, but this is the highlighter duo, and it's the Witch Lisa kind. I really hope that these are a nice, like, smooth pigmentation and aren't too, like, chunky, because sometimes I feel like makeup collaborations, they kind of sacrifice the quality. I also got the Devil Flanders Lip Kit, which I totally did not need because I barely use lip products, but... I just, I had to do it for the reference, and I actually, I like the look of the gloss in this one, so I'm excited to try it out. And then, last but not least, I could not go without getting the large eyeshadow palette. This one is called the Spooktacular Eyeshadow Palette. As I was looking at this product, I just like really quickly glanced at one of the shadow names, and I saw that it was called The Shinning. You mean Shining. Shh. You wanna get sued? And I was like, oh my gosh, this palette actually references the show. So like, I I was really excited to open this up and I can't wait to go over the, uh, the shades in this one. So yeah, that is all the stuff and I'm gonna go ahead and get into some swatches. All right, we are, <coughs> oh. All right, so I think I'm gonna swatch first the Witch Lisa Highlighter Palette. 
This has the embossing of Bart and Lisa on it, and the shades are called Haunted House and Ghost Story. All right, I'm gonna go into Haunted House, and I'm just taking a little bit of that. I'm not gonna ruin Bart. Oh, yeah. That's quite nice. It's a little bit of a, well, my hands are dry too, but it's a little bit of a drier formula, but it does build nicely. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty. And then I'm gonna go into Ghost Story. This one actually feels drier than the Haunted House shade. Yeah, so that's definitely a little deeper. Here, let me build that up. It's still very shiny and reflective. I do still feel like the shade Ghost Story is a little bit drier in formula as opposed to Haunted House. Next, I'm gonna go into the Raven Bart palette. This is a mini shadow palette with eight shades in it. This one's definitely like a moodier, cool toned kind of look. So you could definitely create some grunge looks with this. I'm not sure I'm gonna swatch all of them, but I think I'll swatch Hell to Pay because I love the name. And I'm gonna do right here. Okay. Actually pretty decent, decent formulation for a matte. It's actually really creamy feeling on the finger. It is a pretty dull color, but I think that's the color scheme that they were trying to go for. Since there's already kind of a gouge in this shadow somehow, I'm gonna swatch Zombie. Ooh, that's nice. I might try out Monkey's Paw because I love the name for that one too. Wow, yeah, the feeling on these mattes is really satisfying. Okay, that one's kind of poopy pigment. Let me try that again. Not bad, you just have to build it up a little bit. I'm gonna go into Nevermore, which is a shimmery white shade. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That would be a gorgeous inner corner shade. I, I feel like I have to swatch the shade The Raven because that's what this palette is based around. This one kind of feels pretty dry and uncomfortable to touch. What's weird is that in the palette it kind of looks like there's like a little bit of shimmer in it, but I'm not really seeing it on the hand. That is a decent darkness to it though, because sometimes with the affordable eyeshadows, a lot of times the black eyeshadow shades are a little bit chalky and they just turn gray. <laughs> Hear that? That's just my dry skin. I have not been able to really like examine the shade names in this one and I'm so excited! I was a little bit bummed. I noticed that I guess in transit it got a little dented on this corner and I'm like, <laughs> it mangled my baby! Oh man, just look at that. These are like big shadow pans too. Goodness gracious. So first things first, this is a beautiful and colorful palette. I, I kind of feel like it even rings true to The Simpsons creators where they have used such beautiful color palettes in episodes. I'll see if I can insert some, but I just have always been in awe how breathtaking their animation is. Additionally, we got a nice big mirror. I mean, that that's always, I know that's a little bit more in manufacturing costs and I appreciate that it's there. I cannot tell you how many times I have lost those little shade name inserts that are like the plastic. I lose them. And so when I go to make a tutorial with one of my eyeshadow palettes and I've already lost that shade name uh, spread out thing, I, it makes it really difficult and I'll be like, oh, it's the third one in from the top row. Like, no, I'm not giving a tutorial like that. That's really frustrating. And so I really appreciate that they took the extra effort and they put the shade names right beneath the eyeshadow shades. The fact that this references Simpson stuff, I just, I love it. I'm super excited. All right, so I have been taking a gander at some of these and I definitely want to swatch Stretch Dude, which has the embossing of Bart Simpson here. So this is Stretch Dude. Oh, wow! Okay! <laughs> I don't want to swatch all of these, but 
I, I kind of have to do Bad Dream House because I love that Treehouse of Horror segment. You must kill them all. They all must die. Are you my conscience? I, yes, I am. Bad Dream House. Ooh, that one's a little, little wimpy. Let me try swatching more. So this is the Bad Dream House, and this is how it looks. I guess it's kind of close, but I will say it is kind of a little weak in the pigmentation. It's a beautiful transition shade. That's good. It could wear away pretty easily. That's bad. Take this object, but beware, it carries a terrible curse. Ooh, that's bad. But it comes with a free Frogut. That's good. The Frogut is also cursed. That's bad. Speaking of that reference, I have Frogurt, and I am going to swatch this bad boy now. Ooh, okay. It's actually kind of similar to um, Stretch Dude. Let me go ahead and dig into a shimmer color. I think I'm going to do the shitting. I'm excited. It's this gold color here. Ooh, yeah. That's nice. Here's another embossed shade. This one's called Colossal Donut. I'll go ahead and swatch this guy. Ooh, I have a feeling this is going to be hard to pick up on camera. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's very light. I think this one you would have to build up quite a bit, but it feels good. Like, it's very velvety, and it's pretty in person. I don't know about you, but when I looked at this palette, I think the one shade that I just like zeroed in on immediately was Gremlin. It is so bright. Okay, so we got some goodness. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. It, <laughs> it's the, like my undertones in my skin, but it looks a little sickly. So I think I want to swatch Nightmare Cafeteria. Okay. This one's sort of like a, a creamsicle shade. It's very, like a pale tangerine. <laughs> oh my goodness, super fun, happy slide. Oh, that's great. I know I really shouldn't, but when am I gonna be here again? <laughs> okay, it's a little dusty, a little sheer. Let me see if I can build it up. It kind of looks like I just put highlighter on, like one of the school highlighters. Let me do Raining Donuts. Oh yeah, that one's good. Really nice and bright and shimmery. I love how they included Maggie in the skeletons too. I'm gonna swatch Broomstick here. This is a pretty green. Oh my gosh, I love this green. So which one should I swatch next? You said sorcery? Oh, okay, I'll do that. Ooh, oh, pretty. All right, so in the spirit of the holiday, I suppose I will do my last swatch of Halloween. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that one was a lot more pigmented than I expected. So this one's almost like a deep pink, like almost ready pink. So I think I might just swatch the lipstick today and then I will put on the lip gloss. Oh, what does that smell? It kind of smells like coffee. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. Oh my gosh, wow, that smells really good. All right, let's put it on. Not too much on the wand. Well, let me see if I dip it, if there's more. I mean, I don't have lips, so <laughs> there's not much to swatch here, but this feels like a really thin formula. Uh, I will say it's pretty sheer in color. There's not too much of like this pink coming through, which I actually appreciate. I don't really use tinted lip glosses. So this is really a nice formula, actually. I mean, I'm not huge into using lip products, but this doesn't feel like goopy or anything. But yeah, let me go ahead and swatch this. So here is the lipstick. I 
don't know <laughs> what you're supposed to see from this, but yeah, I mean, it seems cool. This dries really quickly, like it's um very matte. So that's what it looks like when you kind of blend it out, and then that is full opacity. Yeah, wow, I really like this lip gloss. Okay, so swatches are done, and overall I'm pretty pleased with the way everything is swatching. I will say I'm just a little bit underwhelmed with this guy. I think that these are kind of boring shades in comparison to the big palette, but I love the theming, I love the package, so I consider it worth it. But now that all the swatches are done, let's go ahead and get into the makeup looks. <gasps> oh! <laughs> what did I just do? Oh, it's a bloodbath. I'm feeling a green look today. I'm gonna start out with Keeping It Kodos and I'm gonna put that in my crease. I am starting on a still wet base. I have the um, concealer that I use, but I didn't set it down with any powder because I wanted to make sure I got full opacity out of these guys. It takes just a little bit of building up, but I am seeing some of the color coming through, so that's cool. It does seem like it's picking up on itself just a little bit on the outside corner. So I just kind of have to be careful blending there. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna hop over to the other eye and then we'll continue. All right, so I'm liking where that's at and I think I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the shade Broomstick. That's that deeper green. And I'm gonna use that to deepen up the crease. Oh, wow. That's deepening up really nicely. Ooh, and I've been eyeing this one up. Hocus Crocus, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the lid to add some shimmer. Wow, yeah, that looks really nice. I also wanted to use the one shade from the Raven palette called Nevermore in the inner corner because I just, I have an inkling it's gonna be gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish some of the other steps in this makeup, and then I'm gonna come back so I can test out the highlighter. I think I'm gonna try and mix the two for above my brow, and if it looks kinda bad, then I'll just use the shade Haunted House as my uh, cheekbone highlight. I'm just gonna tap one, two, one, two, Actually, I'm not really seeing much happening here. Maybe I tapped off too much. Oh, now I can see it. Ooh, it is kind of bringing out some texture. Ooh, that doesn't look very good. Okay, so maybe I'll just do the shade Haunted House, which is the more silvery white shade. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty chunky. It's true, but he shouldn't say it. So I'm gonna see if I can zoom in and I'm also gonna put a different highlighter on my cheek and you can see how chunky this is in comparison. All right, so here is a side with a typical highlighter that I use. I mean, it definitely kind of picks up a little bit, but <sighs> it's not as bad as this side. I really hope the camera can pick it up because this guy is so chunky and it really emphasizes so much of the texture on my skin. So I just sprayed a little bit of setting spray to see if I can kind of have that reactivate the moisture and kind of melt it more into the skin because whew, it looks so chunky. While that dries, I'm gonna put on this lip gloss again. I gotta tell you guys, I loved wearing this yesterday. I even wore it at the gym and it stayed on my lips that entire workout. Alright, so that is it for this makeup look today and I have to say I'm super impressed with the way that the eyeshadow palette performed. I thought that all the shades that I had used were pretty decent. In regards to the highlighter palette, not not really my favorite. I, I think I've tried enough highlighters at this point to be like, oh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this one. But yeah, overall, I mean, I, I'm pretty pleased with this look and I think everything turned out okay. For my second eye look, I used Ghoul in the crease and then I added Bad Dream House to deepen that up. Then I also had Caramel Cod for a shimmer 
and the inner corner was uncanny. For this pink look, I used Colossal Donut and Happy Thoughts in the crease. And then to deepen that up, I put in Trick or Treat and Possessed. And then for the shimmers, I used Magic Spell and Raining Donuts. I also tried to use the highlighter again, and I still feel like it was coming up chunky. I tried to add a bunch of setting spray, but it didn't really help with how textured it was. My last look starts with Ghoul in the crease, and then to deepen that, I used the shade Eye of Newt and Bad Dream House, as well as the shade Unearthly from the Raven Bart palette. As my shimmer, I used the shade Zombie from the Raven Bart palette. If you guys would like to see more looks with these palettes, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a separate video. Alright guys, so that is it for my Simpsons and Makeup Revolution collaboration review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was so excited to get this collaboration and I really hope that they do this again because I will buy it again. Although it would be dope if you guys could send me PR next time because I put a lot of effort into all of this. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this whole collection and let me know in the comments below if you guys picked anything up. And uh, I'm going to be riding off this high for quite some time. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out with the algorithm and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to stay soft and spooky. Bye! Check out that axe collection. See you later.